Hey everyone, guess where I'm at? Yep, I thought I'd come and check out the Halloween. I hope everyone's having a good evening tonight. I stopped into Bath and Body Works today since today was the debut of their Halloween. I know it's really early, it is July, but I figured I'd better get in there while they've got the stuff in stock. Now, I didn't see everything that they had advertised online at this store. And when I looked online, there were a few items that were unavailable for store pickup. So I'm just assuming that maybe they didn't get everything delivered. Are there any items that you guys are keeping an eye out for from Bath & Body Works? Anything that you've been holding out for or missed out on last year? For me, if I could get one of each, I would, but you know, money and no place to store them. So I really thought the skulls were really cute. I know, a skull cute, but I like them. And, uh, oh, this little skeleton, he was funny, but I was worried he, he would break because he looks sort of fragile the way he's connected at the joints there. Now this skull, that was glass, I believe. Yeah, he was glass. And, um, I thought that he was really pretty with the way it had the iridescent look to it. Looks like he lights up too. I bet it looks really pretty at night. I really thought this cat was cute. I just adorable. I see an item that I missed and um, right there, the crow on top of the pumpkin. Darn, I can't believe I missed that. Sorry guys. The pumpkin is adorable. I guess everything's adorable, isn't it? $22.50. I don't know. I guess everything's overpriced in this store. I guess it just depends on what you want and how much you're willing to pay for it. I thought that was really interesting, the way they did that skull. Okay, that guy was pretty. That was pretty neat. I did not see the larger luminary. They didn't have it on display, and I completely forgot to ask about it. They did tell me that they had some people lined up outside their store this morning when they opened up. And I had planned on being one of those people, but I was just too tired. There was no way I was getting up early. And I know they open at 10 a.m. That's not early, but <laughs> it was for me. I had some chores and errands I had to run. Oh, <gasps> look, I missed that spider soap dispenser too. Oops. Okay, now this crow, I should have bought him. I did not buy him. Isn't that neat? Now the pl it is plastic around, you know, the base and the the little scrolling around it. Okay, this little bat. 
I didn't wind him up, but he does move his little wings. And how about this witch's hand? Man, that was so creepy with the black nails and her hand is all purple. Creepy, but I like it. Now this little pumpkin guy, or jack-o'-lantern guy, he's cute, but I think I bought something similar last year. Okay, this witch's hand I love. This wasn't out and I had to ask them about it and they brought it out. I guess they had sold out earlier. And look at the detail on that. It looks so real. You can see the wrinkles in her knuckles and in her wrist. And this guy, look at that. So cool. This is another item that I had to ask about. It wasn't out on the shelf. Hey guys, I thought I would show you what I picked up today at Bath and Body Works. And let me just say, it was extremely hard not to buy one of everything. I got the candy corn, because I really like candy corn. I know that's weird. I've already tried to open it, and it was really hard, so I need to get a knife for that. And then I got one hand sanitizer. I got the witch soap holder. And I got the witch candle holder. I plan on putting my remote in there. And I'm gonna keep this in my, my craft room slash reading room. And then this one here, since I don't really burn a lot of candles, I think I'm going to use it as a cup holder. That one's a little too big, but you know, put a little mug or something there. And I'll keep this in my reading room slash craft room as well. That's everything I got. So that's all I bought were these four items. And I thought I'd mention in case there's someone out there that doesn't realize this, but the employees at my store were extremely friendly and nice. And when I asked them if I could, if I could get the items in their original boxes, they obliged me and they were very, very happy to do so. So this will make it a little easier for me when I'm storing them. So I'm not worried about the fingers breaking off or anything like that. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Hey guys, look, I was editing my video and I realized, hey, I can put my phone in there also. Neat, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.